So you might be wondering, what are the most difficult topics on the FAR exam? Where should I spend a majority of my time? So after over 500 hours of private tutoring and helping several students to pass the FAR exam, I wanted to highlight four areas that you should really focus on for the FAR exam. So let's jump in. So the first area to really focus on is for eliminating entries. This is when you have a parent company and it owns subsidiaries. So what happens when there are transactions between the parent company and the subsidiaries? So for example, what if you have the parent company has inventory, it sells the inventory to the subsidiary, and then the subsidiary sells the inventory to an outside party. So gap accounting doesn't like us to inflate the numbers when we have transactions between parent companies and subsidiaries. So we have to reverse out the effect of any inflated numbers from that transaction. Or for example, what happens if you have the parent company with property and it sells it to the subsidiary? We can't inflate the amount of the property because of this transaction. So the key to the eliminating entries is going to be write out the journal entry for the parent company, write out the journal entry for the subsidiary, and then based on the difference between the two, you're going to eliminate that inflation of the numbers. So the second area that you should focus on is governmental accounting. Students are often really surprised by how many governmental accounting questions they get on their exams. So governmental is difficult just because it's a different method of accounting. So it's going to use what is called the modified accrual approach. So with modified accrual, you're not going to have long-term assets and you're not going to have long-term liabilities. So for example, when you purchase a fixed asset, you're not going to depreciate it. You're going to record the entire amount as an expenditure right when you buy it. Also within governmental, we're gonna have three categories of funds. We're gonna have the governmental funds, which has five funds within it, that uses modified accrual. Then we're going to have the proprietary funds, which has enterprise funds and internal service funds, that uses regular accrual accounting. And then we're going to have the fiduciary funds, which also uses accrual accounting. So to better understand governmental accounting, I would recommend that you download your county's comprehensive annual financial report. So just Google the name of your county, comprehensive annual financial report. So the third area to focus on is for bond accounting. So for bonds, you want to understand the key terms for bonds. So what is the stated rate? What is the effective rate? The stated rate is what determines the cash that we pay for the coupons. And the effective rate is what we use the present value calculation for. You also want to understand a key formula for bonds. So you calculate your interest expense, then you subtract your cash paid, and the difference between those two is going to be the amortization of your bond discount or your bond premium. So I'll get used to that common formula for bonds, and they're going to be fairly predictable for how you account for them. So the fourth area that you want to focus on is for lease accounting. So lease accounting is difficult just because it involves the present value calculations. So when you initially record a lease, you're going to debit a right of use asset and credit a lease liability. And it's going to be for the present value of all of your lease payments. So then you want to understand all of the journal entries from the lease inception all the way to finishing the lease. So these are the four areas that I would focus on for the FAR exam. Eliminating entries, governmental accounting, bond accounting, and lease accounting. Thanks so much for watching.